So let's work through an example of how this works in SureDone. First, we'll work through a listing as a fixed price item, and then we'll work through an auction item. First, we want to remind you of what is required for listing an item on eBay. You are going to need a title, a price, a stock, a condition, and you're also going to need a photo, 500 pixels or larger, and an eBay search category. Certain search categories also come with required and recommended item specifics, which will need to be filled out. From a general perspective, there are eBay features that can be used regardless of the listing type. We will show you how to add subtitles. Be aware that there is a small listing surcharge added. We will show you how to search for the category ID that is required for listing, as well as to how to add a second category ID, which also comes with a small listing surcharge. You can add store categories if you have an eBay store. Depending on the category ID, we will show you how to add item specifics. You can also add a listing template instead of using our default eBay listing template to dictate what your eBay listings look like. Lastly, you can import your business policy profiles such as payment, shipping, and returns from eBay and use them as defaults on all of your listings. For the fixed price item, you can use the out of stock controls as long as you are using good till canceled as the duration. You do have to set the out of stock control from your eBay panel and not from SureDone as eBay has changed its restrictions on their API and no longer allow us to send this information. We are however going to show you how to use the best offer features and we will show you how to use the maximum and minimum stock features. So to get started with the listing we are going to go into SureDone and select new product under the navigation bar. The add product screen is laid out as follows. There's a series of section headers on the left which you can use to jump between sections. We input the information that we want in the middle where you see the data fields. And then of course on the right, you can select the channels on which you want to list these items. We are only going to be working with our eBay main channel for this example, so we'll uncheck the other two boxes. For listing today, we are going to be using my dog Snoopy's favorite toy. It is a tweed hair. And this, of course, is a House of Paws Harish Tweed plush hair, officially. So we can add that as the title. Keep in mind when adding eBay titles that you want to make sure that they're under 80 characters. In order to help you do this, SureDone has conveniently given you a character count on the right-hand side of the title bar. Now we're going to want to add a price, a stock quantity, a brand, we can go ahead and add a color. In this case, we'll put brown. And since Snoopy hasn't played with this yet, we'll still list the condition as new. Since our demo account doesn't use the SKU generator, we are going to want to add an SKU into the box, which we'll do here. And if we have it, we can also add a UPC. All right, now we can add a description. Keep in mind that the more information that you give a customer makes it more likely to, for them to buy the item. So you not only want to add a description, but if you'd like to nicely style that description, you can turn on our rich text editor and add some additional features to your description text, such as bullet points or uh, bold uh, type, for example. Now that we've added everything that we need to in the general section, we can go down to the eBay section using the section header on the left. You'll see that the title and the price are ghosted from the general section. That means that we are simply displaying the title and the price that we inputted in the general section down here in the eBay section for your convenience. If you'd like to send a different title to eBay than the one you put in the general section, then you can simply override this title by clicking in the box and typing something different. You can also add a subtitle as you see here by clicking on the subtitle box below the title screen. Next we are going to override our default eBay site and list this on our US eBay site. But for now we are going to leave our default listing type as fixed price and our default duration as GTC. We're going to leave those alone for now. 
Underneath, you'll see the min and max stock fields. The min stock quantity allows you to always keep a certain amount of stock in your inventory. Say you have a brick and mortar store as well and always like to have at least one item in stock of your most popular. By putting one in the min stock field and having three in our inventory, SureDone will only send a stock quantity of two to eBay, ensuring that your most popular item won't be sold out. Max stocks can help you control how much information eBay has about your inventory. When you just start using eBay, they put some pretty strict controls on how much you can sell or list. So let's say you had a hundred of these in your inventory, but you will max out your listing limit at 20. You can put 20 in as the max stock and it will send that value to eBay. Once you sell an item, it will put the stock quantity back up to 20 until you sell 80 of them. Once your actual stock quantity dips below 20, then SureDown will start sending the accurate stock quantity. Much like title, the ghosted price from the general section can be overwritten simply by clicking in the box. Now you will see the best offer feature. We have defaulted this to off as indicated by the switch being to the left and shaded light gray. Switches that default to on are to the right and are dark gray. To override the default, we can click on the switch, which will turn it blue, and display the fields that we need. This is where we can input our best offer auto accept price of $10 and our minimum offer price of $9.50. Now we can search for our eBay category by typing in keywords to the search, in this case, dog's toy. From the box below, we can then choose the most relevant category, which is going to be dog supplies and then toys. Click on the blue link below to add a second category. Once you've added the search category, you will see the associated item specifics pop up just below your category ID. We will want to fill these out. In the case of our plush toy, we don't have any required specifics, but there are some recommended ones, such as the type of toy, which I can fill this out. We'll choose stuffed. We can add a material. In this case, we'll choose canvas. And then we can select a feature. In this case, we will choose teething aid. You can fill out as much or as little of these fields as you like. If you see any of the fields that have a plus button to the right, clicking on that plus button will create a custom field where you can add that item specific all the time. As a general rule, of course, the more information that you supply, the more likely someone is to purchase. So do keep in mind that you want to fill out as many of these item specifics as possible. The last thing that we need to add for our fixed price listing is a photo. So we can click on media from the left to scroll down and either add an image from our computer by just clicking on the choose file button or in this case since I already have this image hosted on a website all I need to do is copy and paste the URL where the image is located and put it in the box and then click the image add button. There he is. If you scroll down, you will see the shipping and return business policies that we've pulled in from our eBay account have already been defaulted, so we don't need to do anything else. So now let's take a moment to consider what we would need to make this an auction listing instead of a fixed price listing. Now that we are going to be using this as an auction item, we are going to be using the buy it now pricing since we only have one item and the price isn't set. And we are also going to be using the auto relist feature in case it doesn't sell during the first auction period. Now let's go back into the general section. Since this is an auction item, we are going to want to change the stock quantity to one. The rest of the information in the general section can stay the same. Then we can go back down to the eBay section. And now we are going to override our default listing type and select auction instead of fixed price. We are also going to override our default listing duration. In this case, auctions can be listed up to 10 days, so that's what we'll choose. Now that we've set our duration, we're going to go ahead and remove the min and max stock quantities because we're not going to be using them for our auction listing. You can also see that the auction start price is ghosting from the general price above. 
but let's override this and start the bidding at four dollars. Now we can set our buy it now pricing which we do simply by filling in the box. We're going to add ten fifty five as our buy it now price. And then of course we're going to want to turn on the auto relist. So if after 10 days our auction item hasn't sold and no one has used our buy it now pricing, then we are going to relist this up to three times. And after this third auction, if we um, still haven't sold it, then we're going to choose a different action. This time we're going to convert it into a fixed price listing and we're going to give it a new duration. In this case, we're going to choose good till canceled. And our relist price will be $9.50. We're going to be a little more motivated to sell it at that point, so we're going to offer a discount. If you want to make sure this auction item is listed at a particular time, you can use the schedule listing feature. You would just turn it on and then select a day and time for the auction to appear on eBay. Since I want to list this right away, I am going to turn this feature off. So now that we've altered everything that needs to be changed, I can leave the image and the shipping info the same and it's time to list the item. In the bottom right hand corner of the screen you'll see that I have three options. I can choose reset if I want to start completely again. I can select create draft to create the inventory item in sure done but not send the information to any of my channels. Or, since I want to send this to eBay directly, I can just go ahead and click on the Add button. So off it goes, and we just want to wait and see if we get any messages back, successful or f uh, error messages. So as we, uh, you'll just need to wait and make sure this goes through. So here you see we've gotten a warning message. Warnings don't prevent the listing to go uh, through, so we'll assume that we've been successful. If you want to know what the warning message is, you can go up to the notifications tab in the navigation bar and it will tell you that I am getting very close to my seller limit uh, or listing limit on eBay, uh, but that's not enough to actually keep the listing from going through. So as you'll see when we go back to eBay main, an item ID has been added to our listing and we can click on that item ID and that will take us directly into our listing so we can check and see how things look. And as you can see, there is our plush tweed hair. It's set up for bidding at $4. And you can see our buy it now pricing prominently displayed. As we scroll down, of course, you can see our item specifics. They are right there. And of course, you can see our um, picture in our description displayed in our default eBay template. So I think we've uh, been successful in setting this auction item up correctly.